I would like to dedicate this video to uh, some uh, special software which is published or perish to help students, PhD students and researchers uh, to start their research with uh, the search of necessary uh, data, necessary articles. So uh, when we only at the beginning, at the first stage of our scientific research, it is obviously necessary to find other papers dedicated to our topic. But uh, there, is, uh, there are so much papers in the, available in the internet, so how do we know what papers are the best ones, the most suitable for our research? So to help us, there is a special, there is a special software, which is, uh, actually there are a lot of them, so this is just an example uh, of this special software which I use, so called Publish or Perish. So before to use it, uh, we have to download it in order to install it. So uh, the first link uh, with the search requests publish or perish will uh, lead you to this uh, website where it can be downloaded from. Here on this website, you can find some general information about this software, about this function, some instructions, how to use it. And here at the end, you will find links to download this uh, software. So when it is already downloaded, now let's have a look at the interface and I will give you brief comments on how to use it. So here in this Publish or Perish software, you have the list of different databases uh, for your request search. Some of them um, are not available, for example, like Scopus or Web of Science, you have to be registered there. Uh, it's, uh, there is a need for uh, registration or subscription, but there are also some of them like for free. And today we will have a look uh, for Google Scholar database, which is the biggest one. So <clears throat> when you click on it, here you have some fields to fill. You have here authors, publication name, title, words, keywords, and years, which are those fields which might be interesting for us. Uh, I recommend you to start your request search with the title words, which is here. Uh, so it means that those keywords you will add to this fill will find those articles in which your keywords are in title of that article. So in case if your research topic is pretty popular and there are a lot of publications, obviously you will find a huge list of papers, uh, but the uh, issue with this special software that it uh, gives you possibility, opportunity to analyze only first 1000 of papers if there is uh, there are more than 1,000. But uh, that's another option. Uh, another option of that is to find your papers, if it's a pretty narrow one, uh, request uh, another option to add it in the keywords field. Uh, so let's say we can start with title words, then if we see that uh, we have found only few papers, then you can try to add these keywords to uh, keywords field, and then you will find obviously more papers. So I will give you as an example uh, keywords sustainability reporting. So let's have a look. Press the button search. And here you see that <clears throat> there are a lot of papers in Google Scholar database. And this uh, software search for first thousand of those results. So here we see the results. And I also, I wanted to come on this sign. If you want to find not only articles like sustainability and reporting, but together as the term sustainability reporting, as an example, so you should put this brief. So uh, then you will find the list uh, of all the articles where there is like a uh, term together, sustainability reporting. So here we see the list. Uh, it is ranked according to citation numbers. So the first article, let's say, have 188 citations and so on. So what could be done with this list? First, you can sort it out according to citations. So it means that first you will see the articles which are the most cited. Or you can, for example, sort it out according to the year of publication or um, title or authors and so on. 
what could be done further? You can save this result as a uh, upper style reference list, which is very helpful for students. For example, when they are searching uh, some papers for the uh, diploma thesis uh, or some kind of research, uh, they need to prepare reference list. So here we have button save results and here we have results as upper reference. So let's have a look at this results. So it saves you as a document where you can see the list of all your papers from your research request and what is the best of it uh, that here you can see also the links to those papers. So you can open, uh, you can find all those papers uh, just clicking on the links and you can read them in order to use for your scientific research. What can be done further? Um, so actually with this, uh, I think it's like an introduction as a starting point for any researchers, whether it's a student, a PhD student or other researchers. Uh, so it's a starting point just to structure to find the whole list of papers ranked uh, based on citation, for example. Um, so what also could be done uh, with this instrument? Uh, actually, that might be mostly interested for researchers. Here there is a field, authors. So for example, if you enter here uh, a name of an author, I will put here my surname. search. So here you will see all the papers of this concrete author. So uh, it's very helpful in terms of, for example, if you uh, need to prepare a report uh, of all your papers to apply for some kind of uh, scientific program, uh, you can save results. Here there are two options search report basic and extended. Let's save it as extended, just to have a look at it. So here we have an extended report dedicated to all the metrics of uh, this concrete author. Uh, what do we have here? So surname, uh, then uh, information about software with the help of which it was prepared, then detailed metrics, uh, data, uh, citations, uh, papers, and so on. And actually here you have the list of all the papers of this author with all the links for those papers where these papers could be found. So first, it's very helpful in terms of you can prepare the detailed report on metrics of concrete specific author just in two minutes, uh, which is very helpful. And the second one, uh, if you're uh, preparing some uh, project and you're interested in concrete researchers as partner researchers or you're searching uh, uh, researchers from other institutions and you have to understand what is their research field also could be very helpful instrument in order to summarize in one place very quickly all the information about that concrete author. Uh, also, uh, one more interesting thing uh, for researchers with this um, uh, software, the result of this uh, papers could be saved as a uh, RIS file, for example. Let's get back to my request, sustainability reporting. Here it is, I guess. You can also save this result, so this request, as a RIS file. Here it is, results as RIS. And then you can use this file in order to provide deeper bibliometric analysis with the help of other software, such as, for example, was Viewer. 
So um, the key thing is you can save files as a RIS file from Scopus and Web of Science database, but you can't save RIS files from uh, directly from uh, Google Scholar website. But this software, Publisher Parish, gives you such an option to save uh, a list of your papers according to your request in a RIS file in order to use it for further research with further, uh, let's say, with viewer, for example. So uh, with this, um, uh, actually, that's the whole brief information. These are only those functions which I constantly use, but there are uh, a lot of other options uh, where Publisher Parish could be helpful. So you can read in details uh, in this website. And I hope that uh, this brief overview will be helpful for students, PhD students and researchers uh, to find necessary uh, sources of information and to form their references. So that's it from me. Thank you for your attention.